This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you in another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. So I want to thank y'all for coming over here. I appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for smashing that like button. Appreciate the comments and the teaching and stuff. Appreciate the new people coming in and everything. And a huge shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad, the ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So with that said, um, I want to kind of go over an article. Now, when it comes to permanent, permitless carry and stuff, a lot of these states is passing and stuff. But a lot of states, you know, there is some pushback in there. In my state, we was dealing with this. And we have sheriffs coming out, you know, and then we're going to have people carrying farms and stuff. And then we have the concealed carry class. People saying, hey, you know, they're going to lose money. Uh, people don't have training and all this kind of stuff. So I just want to go over this article and just tell you some of the things when it comes to permanent carry. A lot of these states who are trying to pass it, like my state, states are, are passing it and stuff like that. So we're going to go just kind of just look at it and just let you, let you hear some of the things that is coming out when it comes to permanent carry. Now, some farm instructors say they will lose income if permanent carry, carry bill is passed. Now, there's a lot of places that's right now that's on the cusp of some loose gun restrictions in the country. Texas is one of them. Now, um, Texas Senate gave approval on the HB 1927 bill that will allow Texans to carry guns without a permit. Now, um, when it comes to this um, bill being passed, now, one thing that they're saying that, you know, you're going to have people carrying a phone without a license. So, here goes one of the things that was said about that. Now, there's plenty of people who drive without a license and never cause an accident. But they doesn't necessarily mean that that's the right way that it should be done. Now, when it comes to requiring a license to take your farm out of your home, license shows that you're a competent individual that completes certain level of training. That certain level of training. Now, businesses offering license to carry classes could be losing source of income if the bill is passed. Obviously, this is going to have an impact on my business, but Second Amendment rights citizens. Um, to be able to protect themselves is much more important than just income. Now, uh, right now, um, uh, owner of a concealed carry class said that 30% of his income comes from license to carry classes and expect that the income would drop by 50%. Now, once constitutional carry is passed, there will be a slew of people carrying without a license, but I feel there will be still be a lot of people going through the class to get a license just because it is some advantage over the constitutional carry. And so that is one thing that is being said. Now, the bill will only apply to those 21 years or over. Now, those who are prohibited by the state and federal law from possessing a farm, you know, you won't be able to, you know, be part of the carrying to start with. So I just kind of want to read that. This is some of the stuff that has been coming out when it comes to the permanent carry and stuff like that. Now, in my state, there was a, you know, huge thing about that. Um, you know, it was a lot of fear money. You know, people going to be carrying. See, the the, the the fact, the matter of people, people are carrying forms that shouldn't be carrying forms because they will carry. You got criminals carrying and shouldn't be carrying every single day. You just don't know it. And no one is complaining about that. Uh, to my, we don't have none of you. None of these people complaining, the concealed carry people, none of the sheriffs, none of these people complaining about you have criminals or carrying forms concealed every single day, and you just don't know it. And then you have people who are open carry, especially in my state, you can open carry. They haven't took a class, no training whatsoever. So I'm talking about for us, um, the concealed carry as far as the income. Now, the benefit to me when it comes to concealed carry now, in my state, I have to have a CCW to carry concealed. Now, if we pass permanent carry, in my state, they were saying you'll still be able to have your CCW. Now, one benefit of having the CCW is that, you know, you can pretty much go in a gun shop, purchase a farm without a background check because the background check has already been done. You go to gun shows and stuff, you still fill out your paperwork, but you don't have to do a background check because you have the license. You know, you have the permit to buy, you know, many farms you want to. Now, if you don't have the license, then you got to go to the sheriff's department. You got to get, you know, pay for your pistol permit and stuff like that. Five dollars each or whatever the case may be. And, you know, if you just go buy your farm and stuff, you don't have to take the class. You can just carry it. So I'm talking about when you start to look at this 
permanent carry and you know, all this stuff that you know concealed carry say they're gonna lose income and everything the problem is in this pandemic we had a situation where classes were backed up so you know if states where you can't um open carry and stuff and you can't conceal carry because you don't have a permit and stuff like that you just had people pretty much couldn't do nothing until my they couldn't even carry outside at home and stuff like that where they were at more risk out in public so i'm talking about it's, it's always other states dealing with other things and stuff like that so this is something i just trying to put out there just trying to put it in context people you know i can go through the rap i can go down the rabbit hole all day long you know what i'm you know what um you know what i'm trying to say and stuff like that when it comes to concealed care and you always gonna have you know something come up and in my state we had this come up and you know been put on hold so we've been trying to pass it but kudos to the state that is passing and stuff like that i hope my state can pass it and stuff so um i'm gonna wrap this up this is d channel guns and i'll catch you on the next one this is dc channel guns like and subscribe thank you for watching